This morning we've received word that the Erdogan regime in Turkey is on an anti-democratic crackdown against the People's Democratic Party, the HDP. Arrest warrants have been signed for 82 members and leaders of this organisation, and already a number of members and activists have been detained. On behalf of Socialist Alliance in Australia, I want to send a message of solidarity to the members and activists in the, in the People's Democratic Party. Even here on the other side of the world, we've heard about your struggle, we're following your struggle, and we want to express our solidarity in the strongest and most heartfelt way we possibly can. And to the Australian government, I say this. Australia cannot remain silent. The Australian government needs to take a strong stand of condemnation against this barbaric, anti-democratic action by the Turkish regime. We should be calling on all countries to distance themselves diplomatically from this hard-right regime in Turkey. And to the people of Australia, I want to say this. Unless you're following Turkish politics closely, you probably haven't heard very much about the HDP, the People's Democratic Party. You probably don't know very much about it. It's not in the media. I had the immense privilege of visiting Turkey uh, in, um, in February this year, just before the coronavirus lockdown, and I had a chance to meet the leaders and activists in this party, and they are a wonderful testament to the best of humanity. These are the people that are struggling on the front lines against a brutal authoritarian regime in, in Turkey. And what's the reason that these arrest warrants have been issued? These arrest warrants have been issued because these, mem these brave heroic activists from the People's Democratic Party were taking part in protests within Turkey back in 2014 in support of Kobane at a time in Rojava. If you've heard of the Rojava revolution, these people were supporting the independent free will of the people of Kobane against ISIS attacks. So at least 43 people were killed in that protest. And the vast majority of those people killed were killed by police officers, killed by Turkish police officers repressing ordinary citizens in Turkey, having their democratic say to express their political opinion. Already since 2015, more than 16,000 members of the HTP have been detained at one point or another, and more than 5,000 of them have been sent to prison. This includes parliamentarians, mayors, leaders of the party. This is a major all-out crackdown on a heroic democratic fighting force. Even if you don't know very much about Turkish politics, even if you've never heard of the People's Democratic Party before in your life, all progressive people in Australia have a stake in expressing our solidarity and supporting these heroic fighters for freedom, these heroic fighters for, for democracy, these heroic fighters for justice. Please, I urge you, number one, find out more about the People's Democratic Party. You can look in Green Left Weekly and other sources for more information. And secondly, please contact your local representative of the Australian government and ask them, urge them, to take a strong stand for democracy and against this latest repression by the Erdogan regime in Turkey.